Seeking help for survivors of domestic violence. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. Two recent murders in the North Country are bringing renewed attention to the problem of domestic violence and how to connect survivors to essential services. Our Plattsburgh Bureau Chief Alec Lasham joins us now. And Alec, is this something already happening in Plattsburgh? Kiana, it is. I spoke with the sheriff's office this afternoon who says they continue to connect people, victims of domestic violence, to services like emergency housing as domestic violence calls in the county continue to rise. They want to make sure that they have the resources they need so that they can make sure they're taking the next steps to protect themselves, to protect anybody else that might be in the home. Jackie Slater with the New York State Office for the Prevention of Domestic Violence says a push is underway statewide to increase communication between law enforcement and social service organizations to help domestic violence victims. State data shows in 2022 there were almost 50,000 cases of domestic violence, including 32 intimate partner murders in the state outside of New York City. When you're looking at this last three years, four years, there's a shift that really has to be attributed to the pandemic. Clinton County has also seen a rise year over year. Major Nicholas Leon with the Sheriff's Office says they've had roughly 60 domestic violence calls so far this year. This is just the calls we've had for this year. Some cases were even fatal, like in the case of 57-year-old Lisa Dashnaw, who state police say was allegedly strangled by her husband, 58-year-old Scott Tyrell, sometime between March and April. But as to why domestic calls have jumped, Leon says it could be for a number of reasons. We believe in the law enforcement community that it's tied to maybe a, a bigger mental health issue, a lot more struggles, there's more financial struggles, there's lots more instability in society. Leon says a big focus is on providing support to victims. We try to get them their services through stop domestic violence. If there's mental health issues in that residence, then we'll contact the local mental health crew to come out, the, the crisis response groups. We'll send them off to DSS to try to get them assistance if they're looking for money. If for some reason they want to leave the home, we'll assist them in that. There's been times where we've had to work with the SPCA to house their animal for them. Slater also says there's $5 million in the budget this year for something called the Safe Fund, which is for domestic violence victims that they can tap into for things like emergency housing or for replacement items that were broken after a crime. Reporting live from the Plattsburgh Bureau, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.